Hey Redeemer family, welcome to the last update of the first part of the year. In other words, oh. we're taking a little pastoral video update break during during the summer as we as we normally do. Redeemer doesn't doesn't stop by any means, but at least it slows down a, a little bit over the course of the next few weeks. And so this is the last video update until we resume after a bit of a summer break. Uh, I'll be gone for a few weeks in July as well for my, my own vacation. I hope you're able to get away. And I hope that the summer time is just, just allows for a little bit more rest, uh, a little bit of a breath. Um, resting is a part of what God has called us to do, even commanded us to do in the scripture. And so uh, we, need to, we need to remember that and redeem that and grasp a hold of that and remember that we, our identity is not what we do, but who Christ has made us by what he has done. And so hopefully this summer, that'll be a reminder for you as well. We had quite the Sunday this past Sunday, uh, Pentecost Sunday, a great and wonderful day. We asked the Holy Spirit to move and the Holy Spirit did. We had, uh, we had three wonderful baptisms. We were able to celebrate our seniors. We were able to start a new sermon series on the book of Ruth as well really just a, a wonderful day. And so thankful for all of you being there or watching online as you're able to as well. And for everyone who helped to pull that, um, that extravaganza off on Sunday, most particularly, we just give thanks to the Lord for all he's doing weekly and daily in our midst. Over the course of the summer, we will have connections on Wednesday night. That's a time when we, when we want to make sure that we're intentionally building relationships with one another. Uh, Part of being a part of Redeemer is recognizing that you get out what you put in a lot of times as well. And so we want you to have deep friendships and deep connections here as well. And so that's why we have this on Wednesday nights, 545, we get together for potluck dinner. And then over the course of the summer, we're going to be working out in our farm, um, harvesting and, uh, and, and, and serving the farm team together uh, in building relationships with one another in that way as well. If you have questions about that, you can talk to Deacon Jared and his information will be here someplace around on the video. Uh, it, it kicked off on this past Wednesday where we met out at Triad Park to support the youth as well. And so we're really excited about that time. On Sunday, June 12th, that's this, this upcoming Sunday, we have an Abbey Fair. The Abbey is the overarching ministry at the church, kind of the umbrella that covers a lot of individual ministries that help uh, that help give space and platform for the people in our church uh, to be able to do the work of ministry outside the walls of Redeemer as well. So lots of different ministries that are a part of, uh, of our Redeemer family. And we want you to know what all of those ministries are about and what they are and how they work. And so we're going to have a little fair outside where they're going to have tables and you can walk through see what they're doing, how you might want to support or be a part of those as well. And, and of course, be, be aware so that you can pray about these ministries as well. So come out, join us after church this Sunday for the Abbey Fair. On June 26th, Sunday, June 26th, we are going to have a financial town hall. As we've as we are transparent about the finances and things happening at Redeemer uh, as well, we've told you that that our finances have been down over the course of the first part of this year and that giving has been down too, which has kind of been strange. We're still trying to figure that out a little bit because our attendance continues to, to go up and we see wonderful new faces, but our giving hasn't, hasn't, um, hasn't followed that same curve. And so, uh, so we want to talk through that a little bit. Um, and part of that is that we want you to just be informed about how money works around here and where does it go and how do we spend it? And, and Redeemer's a complicated place, parish, park, farm, abbey, cathedral, like, uh, we have our space station on the on the moon, not yet, but maybe, who knows. Uh, but how does it all work from a financial perspective? And so we just want to have this town hall meeting where it's it's not a panicky meeting. We're not worried about things. We It's an informational meeting to be able to go, here's how things work. Feel free to be able to ask your questions. We want you to feel very confident for, because this place runs on your faithful giving, we want you to be very comfortable that, that all of that giving is being stewarded really well. Um, and so we're transparent about everything that we can be transparent about. And, uh, and, uh, and we'll share a quick time explaining some of those things and, uh, and kind of our next steps in, in the financial health of our church as well. So that will be coming up on the 26th, right after our 10 a.m. service. We hope you'll stick around for that. So when we filmed the 
update video, we forgot to mention these things. Um, these are, uh, are giving tokens in a way. We don't really have a name for them. But <clears throat> what we realized as we were thinking through kind of the financial life of the church and, and how we connect our, uh, our spirituality with our generosity, that's a part of who we are as Christians, that there's a real disconnect because most of us give online um, and it's sort of out of sight, out of mind. But giving and generosity is a part of of, of our worship um, and a part of our devotion to the Lord as well. And we have a sacramental mindset uh, here at Redeemer. And so what we mean is that the spiritual is very connected with the physical in that way as well. And a lot of what we do physically represents an even greater reality and truth. And so the baskets go around and we just kind of let it go past us because we've already given online. So we came up with a solution these things. Uh, and what these things are, these little tokeny things, is uh, is that they're going to be in a basket outside of the front doors of the church so that if you give online, you can take one of these things and uh, and then just one. You don't need all of these. And, and hold on to it. And then when the baskets come around, you can put this in the basket. So that way you can engage physically in the spiritual discipline and joy of of giving and generosity. So this helps to bring things to bear in our physical world and make our giving and our devotion to the Lord a little bit more focused and, uh, and, uh, and, and pragmatic and practical and tangible. Okay, so that's what these things are. You'll see them uh, outside of the doors of the service. Pick one up on your way in and we'll remind you on Sunday what these things are really all about uh, as well. So thanks. See you Sunday. So with this being our last video before we take this little bit of a break, we want you to know how much you're loved and we'll still see you on Sundays and we're still around. We're just taking a little break from this particular channel that we share together. Um, but uh, I love you deeply. I pray for you daily. I'm so thankful that you are a part of this church. I pray that you will be a part of spreading the work that God is doing in this church and to other places. Bring people with you. Invite them into this move of God that we are a part of. And even while we're resting this, uh, these few weeks, that you are on my heart and on my mind as well. And then, therefore, on behalf of all the staff and all of us together, we would like to say... Happy summer! Happy summer! Happy summer! Happy summer. Happy summer. Happy summer. Happy summer.